Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can use the advanced settings option, um, block in your uh, connectivity resources to manage uh, how you uh, change the resource group namings or any other type of settings that you can override uh, when deploying this model in your environment. So whenever you're using the CAF Enterprise Scale, there's a lot of default settings that are kind of deployed um, various, for, for various regions, what, reasons, whether it be best practices or just kind of keeping consistent naming schemes. But a lot of these things may not fall in line with how you already have your you know, greenfield or brownfield deployments already going. So if we look in this uh, you know, Azure GitHub for, um, repository for the CAF Enterprise Scale, there's a wiki here that you can click on to kind of get some more documentation on around uh, how everything's being deployed. So you got your management identity and network topology and connectivity resources. Off to the right here, there's the different levels. So you got the level 100, which is kind of like the default config. These are just kind of examples uh, that kind of gets you started into deploying some of these di different things, depending on how much customization you want. So down here, as you get into level 300, that's where you can get into a lot more customizations around uh, what you actually want to um, name things or what you want to deploy, whether it be Azure firewalls, DNS configurations, um, building virtual networks for different hubs and spokes and things like that. So if I click on this first one here, this one is, let me make sure. So yeah, deploy connectivity resources with custom settings. Now, so when you deploy this, um, it's going to deploy it it's going to name it uh, based off of like your root ID, um, what region or location you're going into. But let's say you don't want that in uh, the resource group to be named how it's going to name it when you deploy these. So I'm going to give you an example of what I mean here. So if I go into my code here, so my root ID is LMTY for Let Me Tech You. My primary location is Central US. My secondary location is East US. Inside my settings.connectivity, I have two hubs that are going to be created. One for the primary location, one for the secondary location. Two different networks, and then uh, looks like I don't have any other things configured as far as DNS or anything like that. So if I go in here and I say Terraform plan, we're going to get a resource group and everything that's already built um, as far as the name based off of what we've already configured in our variables and inside this settings file. So if you look up here underneath resource group, there's gonna be a LMTY connectivity East US and an LMTY connectivity Central US uh, resource group that's gonna get created. And then these, um, these, uh, con these uh, virtual networks that are being built, basically which are the name here, LMTY hub Central US, is being built from these locations. And then it's gonna be put inside of this particular resource group. And then same thing for here, that's gonna be Central US, East US. Now let's say we wanna change these, we want a different suffix. So if we look inside the, um, down in the settings here, there's an advanced equals null block. Now this is undocumented um, for various reasons. They actually even state in here, if we can find it, let's see, advanced. The module allows for further customization of the connectivity resources through the advanced settings. However, this is out of scope for this example. So what I had to actually do was, um, I had to try to do a little bit of reverse engineering. So basically what I did was I went into the module here and I did a, a find in folder and I looked for the word advanced and I saw in here that they had a local dot connectivity resources advanced section and they had some different things that you can kind of, um, you know, modify and change. So obviously we got resource prefix, suffix, um, you know, you got custom settings by resource type and I found this pretty interesting here. Um, so basically what this allows you to do is modify the uh, resource types of various things that's getting deployed. So if you copy that and go into the uh, search here up at the top, if you do a search on that, you can see that they have 
this modules connectivity variables.tf. If I click on that, we can scroll down to the bottom here and actually see some of the different settings by resource types that can be modified. So here we see that Azure ARM resource group can be modified. So what we can do is actually build our resource groups um, and set the names of what we want them to be ourselves. And I'll show you that here in a second. So first thing we're gonna do is, uh, let's just go ahead and go back in here, go to our code and let's minimize all of this. Now in the settings.connectivity file, this is uh, going to, we're gonna go down to this advanced block here. And inside that advanced block, we're gonna go ahead and put in resource. And we're gonna choose prefix. And that prefix, I'm going to put, oops, it's gonna equals, let me tech you test 2024, or let's say 23. All right, so that's gonna be the prefix for our resources there. So let me do another Terraform plan. And as we see here, we should see that LMTY test 2024, let's say. How many characters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, we got too many characters. So let's just do for our prefix, LMTY test. And now that should be prepended to the resources that's getting deployed here. So now we see the resource group name is actually gonna be LMTY test. The virtual network name is gonna be LMTY test. Uh, let's see here. So we should see that on, so that's, that could be our prefix. So maybe we don't want the root ID of what it's actually showing to be, you know, we still want it to apply at other places, but for our connectivity resources, this could be, you know, um, connection or VNet or whatever it be hubs. So that's just one way to do that. If you wanted to, um, change the suffix, you know, same thing. So, so suffix can equal, let's say 2024. Do another Terraform plan. And then what we can get into is actually um, modifying the custom settings by resource type. So as we can see, now we got 2024 applied to those virtual network names and also the resource group names. But then like if we go, let me see, did I have that actually up? Okay, so the different resource. So these are the different resource types that can be modified. So when it says modified, if you actually go to Azure RM resource group and go to the Terraform page, once this comes up here, you get that some time to think, there we go. So as you can see, you can change the location, the name, manage by tags, um, all that type of stuff. So you just kind of based off of what can be uh, changed depending on the resource that it, 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 can, it has in this uh, validation block. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the resource group and I wanna change the name of my, of my two hubs to be uh, different. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this here. So I don't wanna put a prefix. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna do a custom underscore settings by resource type. And then that's gonna equal, so this is gonna be an object. And the object is gonna be Azure RM underscore resource group. And then that's gonna be the name of the, um, so basically it's gonna be connectivity, which is what the figure yeah, I'm just making sure that's all correct. Oh, so connectivity. And then we need to do this for each particular um, hub that's been, being deployed. So the primary location, which we'll take here, it's going to be var.primary underscore location. And then the resource group name for that is going to be 
we're just going to say Kevin RG location one. Then now for the other, we're going to do another connectivity block. And this is going to be the secondary location. Secondary location, and this is going to be Kevin-RG2. So instead of using the defaults that come with this, uh, you can basically kind of set this to be even variables to be passed through um, and things like that. So now for these resource groups that's getting built up here, where it says an LMTY test, it should be RG location 1, RG location 2. So let's do another Terraform plan. And then we should also see our VNets being built inside of those RGs as well. So if we scroll to the top here now, we have Kevin RG location two. And let's see here. So location two, for some reason this didn't actually Connectivity equals, let's then take the second one here. Let's just double check. So Kevin RG location two and then, oh, so I think it might've actually used the last one. Might've needed a comma there. So let's see if this builds the uh, builds both of those here now. Uh, that actually didn't. Let me look through the documentation here one second. Okay, so a little trial and error there. So almost instead of so I had a couple different variations I was testing out there. So let me just go backwards. So I, I was trying to build another set just to show you what I had tested. So I tried taking this block again and doing a comma here and then adding that same Azure Arm resource group block, but that didn't take. Um, and then, so then what I found was I could actually, let's close out of here, go back into it. So instead, so I'm almost creating almost like a list of objects here of the name. So I'm going connectivity, then the primary location's name is going to be this, and then connectivity's secondary location's name is going to be here. So like I said, it's an undocumented um, process that they even talk about on the wiki. So I, you know, kind of caution of you know making too many um, changes in the advanced section. Uh, something with the resource groups, you know, probably not too bad to do. Um, if we look back in the documentation there, looks like they had some other stuff like subnets and, um, you know, so you could probably change the name of the subnet. Uh, but a lot, of, and then the Azure firewall, but there's probably just various things that you just have to kind of see, like, you know, as far as what's actually being deployed in the settings. So if you go back into the wiki, and we go back to that custom one. You just got to probably see like, okay, what options does it give you for the um, Azure firewall? You know, can you, if there's, if it's missing something in here that the actual Terraform provider itself has, that's where maybe the advanced section would probably come into. But the resource group one is a big one because a lot of people want to kind of keep resource group name schemes, um, naming conventions, uh, and certain resources prefix with things that kind of align with their uh, adoption of how they are already running in the cloud. So again, that's just a nice, easy way to kind of get, and, if, and I did run that. So if we look here now, it's actually showing my Kevin RG location two here, and then also my Kevin RG location one for the two separate VNets that's gonna get deployed. So again, if you have any questions in regards to how that kind of, you know, maybe works with other type, some of those other resource types or some errors you might be getting, 
shoot me a message down below. I can um, you know, be sure to kind of get back with you. Um, again, like and subscribe. If you have any questions around the uh, cloud adoption framework for Azure or any of the um, cloud um, CAF enterprise scale module settings, um, let me know and I'll be sure to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.